Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I'm Zelda Master and in this episode we're going to be making our way to the northwestern part of the sea because while well, in the previous episode we looked through Wayfarer's notes here on this island and found a secret route that we can take that will take us through the fog so we don't get lost in it or anything. So let's go ahead and inform Linebeck about that and yeah let's uh, make our way out into the deep blue and see if we can actually head to the northwestern part of the sea. So yes, we have it written down because we uh, drew it on our map and everything, so we don't have to worry about that. So here we are, we're gonna depart from uh, Malida Island, I believe it's called. So yeah, goodbye island, you, you served a pretty good purpose, I guess. Uh, but believe it or not, we're gonna come back to this island really soon later on uh, because it had a temple we didn't really get a chance to explore yet so yeah um but first off what I want to do is actually head down here because that gossip stone that was on this island actually told us about a secret island that isn't marked on our map or anything and we're gonna have to discover it so we can see and oh no a hazard we got a leap okay and oh okay so now they they noticed the island so there we go yeah there it is guys the island isn't marked on our charts uh, so we're just going to jot it down, I guess, and hey, look, there it is. Now we can actually land on it, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and change my route and actually set it to the island itself. And it's just question marks because we've never been on it yet. So yeah, and it's not marked on our map, of course, and that's kind of why. But anyways, let's go ahead and make our way to this island. And we're going to find some pretty interesting things here. Um, This island is going to be an island you're going to revisit a couple times throughout the game. It's called Spirit Island. And... Yeah, basically what you do is you use your spirit gems to uh, get certain upgrades from this island. Now, here's a letter from Astrid. Okay, ahem. <clears throat> oh, I can't wait. Seems excited to read a letter for us, but you don't really care. Okay, so uh, good tidings to you, Link. For a reason, blah, blah, express my gratitude words. Can't do justice. Um, if there's anything I can do, please return and stop by the Isle of Ember. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm actually going to do that. Okay. Bye, Astrid. Th th thanks for the letter, I guess. And he just reads it out loud. He's not going to give us the letter itself. He's just going to read it and fly away. So, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I believe we're actually going to head back to Isle of Ember. Because we do have a shovel. And there's a couple of cool things we can get. But we got ourselves a Courage Gem. Uh, one of 20. Just like the Power Gems and all of that. And yeah, this is the island where we're going to be upgrading certain things uh, throughout the game by, you know, getting gems and trading them for that. So let's go ahead and check out this pond. So Link, I am the servant of the goddess of spirit that dwells in the spring. All right, I've been waiting for your arrival. So uh, we need to recover true strength, the power, like, yeah, we find the spirit gems scattered around the world, and we bring them here. And if we collect them, we'll get some true type of power, which is pretty interesting. So we only have, what, two power gems, I guess, and we just got a courage gem, so... There's really nothing important that we can do right now, but uh, in due time. Plus, we have the Spirit of Power on us. I think that's why it's offering us uh, stuff with power. But we're going to need to save the other spirits to actually be able to uh, use these certain upgrades. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm explaining it really vaguely right now, but you'll you'll see what I mean when the time comes. We only have, like, what, two power gems and right now one courage. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit until we really get into that and stuff. So... Let's go ahead and make our way all the way to the other side of the map, and actually wait, before I do that, let's go ahead and head over to this traveler's ship, actually. There's something we can do here, but then I'm going to head over to uh, the Isle of Ember before I decide to head through the foggy route to the northwestern part of the sea. So, anyway, let's go ahead and board this ship. So yeah, you're going to find a bunch of ships uh, throughout the game just sailing casually, and this one is just some traveler who is raided by... <laughs> Moblins, I guess, these mini blends are on his ship, so we're gonna have to kill him so we can save him, I guess. Let's go ahead and, and die! Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and talk to him. Say, hey, what's up? So, play dead, play dead. Dude, hello? I, I, I saved you. Go away, go away from me. Okay, dude, hello? Alright, how annoying. Hey, what? Dude, I just saved you. How am I annoying? So he gets up. And yeah, so yeah, the bad guys have left. Not really, I killed him, but <laughs> okay. So this guy is just some guy who who tends to get raided a lot, and there's going to be a lot of uh, enemies on his ship from time to time, and every time you save him, he'll give you some cool items. So we got the Goron Ember, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, I'm happy, whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and leave, and we'll come back to the ship later on, and we'll be able to get ourselves something pretty cool from him, but for now, we just got ourselves uh, a treasure. So... 
Now what I want to do is head all the way to the Isle of Ember, because like I said, I want to actually, you know, talk to Astrid. Not really. I want to get some What? Okay, game. That was weird. I want to actually um, get something. Now that we have the shovel, there are a couple th cool things we can get from that island. So I guess I'll just cut until I make it there. So I'll meet you guys when we're at the Isle of Ember. Okay, guys. So uh, we found this really cool jellyfish-like enemy that is kind of acts like a mini game where you hit it with your cannon constantly and you get rupees from it. So it's really neat when sailing uh, the ocean to actually spot one of these and sit and hit it constantly. And yeah, look at that. We're getting so many rupees from this, which is pretty neat. And it sits and divides to more of them and you have to kind of like keep them all in the air, which gets a little difficult. But yeah, there we go. Uh, we got ourselves like around 20 rupees from just doing this. But I think I'm done because we already arrived to the island as well. But yeah, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Made time fly by really fast. Look, it's dividing into more pieces. But uh, it's honestly hard to balance more than two in the air because you can hit two with one cannon, but once they're three, it's really hard to hit them all. So, yeah, whatever. Anyways, here we are. I guess Link really wanted to jump back into the sea after all of that sailing. He wasn't seasick or anything, but um, yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything to Astrid. I'm actually going to ignore her. I was just pretending that I wanted to hit her because of her letter, but that's not the case. I'm here for something else. I'd rather talk to someone dead. As dark and as weird as that sounds, um, I actually want to talk to Ko, uh, and he is dead. So yeah, he's actually gonna thank us for uh, saving Astrid, I believe. So let's go and talk to him. So yeah, thank you for rescuing Astrid. Here's some information about treasure that's buried. So let's go ahead and mark an X here. And since we have a shovel, we can find the map that will give us the treasure map that will, so we can find treasure, I guess. And yeah, uh, and there's also one buried in Astrid's basement, which. I don't really need a mark on my map, but I, I, I thought I just will. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and, I guess, collect the, our, uh, our treasure. Well, either our treasure chest, because after we get the chest, we still have to locate the treasure itself somewhere in the Great Sea. But it's whatever. We got ourselves another two treasure chests we can get from this island, so that's going to be pretty interesting. And I don't know. I thought I'd get it, even though I went clearly out of my way to get these chests, or to get these treasure, rather, like treasure maps. Um, I feel like it's going to be worth it. So, hey, Astrid. First, let's pick up the one in her basement, I guess. And you'll be able to spot it. It's literally, I believe it's this one. It's one of the patches of uh, dirt that's, you know, it's obvious something's been under it or something. But there we go. So, a new area has been marked on our map. Nice. And I guess I'm going to check out what's in here. Maybe it's like 100 rupees. Oh, it's just red rupees. It's fine. Or red rupee, rather. All right, let's go ahead and get the other one that's uh, atop the summit. While heading to the Temple of Fire, so yeah, we'll grab that one as well, and then we'll head to the foggy area of the northern western part of the sea and really see what it's supposed to do next. But yeah, first I want to grab these stuff because you know they might be a little useful and and things. So yeah, um, oh geez, good thing we have a shield and Link automatically uh, blocks with them because you know if. If I was supposed to block with the shield, I'd always forget and get hurt a lot. That's what I love about, you know, Link automatically using the shield. He just, you know, automatically uses it. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I believe it's right here in this patch of uh, grass right under it. Yeah, we'll find another treasure map. And, well, there is another area we can uh, find something pretty cool to salvage. So, yeah, we haven't really looked, like, into these treasure maps because we can't really salvage them yet. Because we need a salvage arm. Um, but don't worry, we will we will get to that soon. I'm just collecting the treasure chests, or the treasure maps rather, ahead of time so I can get myself treasure chests that are will be in the sea from these treasure maps. So, yeah, anyway, so we got um, some more sailing to do. I will just, I believe, cut until I make it to uh, where the arrow is on the map. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and sail all the way. Nope, whatever, I'll just... I actually don't want to do that. Is there any way I can get past your ship? There we go. I'm going to sail all the way up here um, so we can head to the northwestern part. And then we'll take the route that Wafer told us and hopefully make it to the Isle of Gust. So, I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys. So, we have arrived. Now, it's time to head through this fog. And since we have the uh, route written on our map or drawn on our map, we'll... Okay guys, so we have arrived to the northwestern part of the sea. 
So what we're going to do is we're literally going to take this route that we drew on our map in the previous episode uh, from, you know, one of Wayfarer's notes and things. So let's go ahead and do that. And there's really no point to do an arrow at the end because he's actually going to sail that way. So I'm, I'm going to stop once I make it out of the fog. But this route here should literally get us out of the fog. So we're just going to sail through this way and hopefully make it out. Um, but we're going to have to be careful because there's going to be a bunch of enemies in this thick fog as well as barrels. That if you hit, they will explode, so they'll hurt you, so it's pretty dangerous. You can't just, you know, not pay attention. And it makes it a little more difficult because the fog is so thick, so it's really hard to see where the enemies will appear. But so far, so good. We haven't actually spotted any enemies yet, which is pretty nice. But, uh, you know, things might get worse as time goes on. Okay, there's an enemy. Look, I can see it. Phew. I actually want to be careful because we only have three hearts on our ship, so yeah. If we get hit three times, we're dead. And, whoa, I actually sniped that barrel. I didn't even know that was a barrel. I thought I just randomly hit it. Okay, let's go ahead and kill these guys. Did I hit him? Yeah, I did. Oh, and I got a heart back. Yeah, some enemies actually drop hearts for your ship, which is pretty interesting. Um, it's actually really nice because sometimes you need it. Um, but yeah, uh, there's also a traveler ship all the way down there that we could check out, but I'm not going to do that now. And I realized I actually scribbled all on the bottom of the map here and the reason why I did that and the reason why we can't take the side which I failed to mention um, is because oh let me kill this guy is because there's cyclones all over that area and they will throw you all the way back if you try to you know head through that route. I'm surprised Beetle is able to sail there I mean like why can he sail there and we can't it doesn't make any sense but whatever um so yeah we, we can't really go from that route right now we have to take this really weird area. I don't know why you have to do a spiral around this rock, but you do! This is the only way to actually make it out. Like, you have to actually follow us exactly to do this correctly, so don't try to cheap your way through one of the, like, you know, rocks that are on this map and, like, go a different route, because it will, uh, screw yourself, uh, most likely. You'll most likely screw yourself if you do do it, so you have to take the loop-de-loop. -loop. You have to do all of these crazy turns just to make it out of here. But in general, it's worth it, because... <laughs> If you fail and decide to actually, you know, cheap your way through it, you're going to have to do all of this again because you literally get lost in the fog and you get ported back all the way to the beginning, which is right here. So, yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, we're almost done. <gasps> hey, we actually spotted the ghost ship as well, but it's going to, like, it's going to disappear on us most likely. We won't be able to follow it right now. In general, as Astrid told us, like, we need the power of... Power, well, we need the power of power, that sounds weird, but we do need the power of power and courage and wisdom. We only have the power of power, and that is the spirit of power, which is leaf. So we need to find the one for wisdom and courage as well. So yeah, ow! I hope it's not going to try to shoot me anymore. No, I think we're good, and I killed it. Yay! Wow, just one rupee, whatever. Anyways, I think we're almost done, guys. This is it. The fog should start to go away. I, I, well, it's still really foggy. Kind of scared. I think we did it correctly. Though. I'm pretty sure we did it correctly. Uh, I, why did I do this arrow? Now it's just gonna waste more time. You know, I'm just gonna keep sailing out here and see if this we're fine. We should be fine. Let's see. And yes, the fog is clearing up, guys. We have made it out of here. We did it. Look at that. Yes, the horrible fog is gone. I uh, just how bright it is. It is so bright. It's actually really nice. Made me miss this uh, atmosphere, you know, outside of this crazy fog. Look at that. You can actually see the fog. Holy crap. That is ridiculous. It's crazy just seeing, like, all of this in this, you know, small game. It, the game isn't really small, but it's just, you know, still mind-blowing knowing that this is for the DS and it has all of this, like, the, you know, these huge areas, this huge sea, everything. But anyways, let's go ahead and make our way to the Isle of Gust. Now, it's not just called Isle of Gust for no reason. There are, yeah, areas from the ground, like pockets of air that, like, shoot out like that. But not only that, this, this island is ex extremely windy. Like, it's really windy. So, yeah, let's go ahead and read this sign and see if it tells us about it. So, beware of great winds. Yep, so... That's the main reason why it's called Isle of Gust. As you can tell, yeah, it's pushing us back. Luckily, we're going to use this wind to our advantage. So what we want to do is head over here. As you can tell, this will take us to the next area. That, uh, that will obviously give us the certain power that was marked from the C chart. So we're going to go ahead, 
and navigate through here, but it's not that easy. You don't just walk to that cave or temple or whatever you want to call it. Um, there are a couple things you need to do here on this island, which might get a little tricky, and I think the trickiest part is avoiding <laughs> falling down from the wind, like falling off of a island, or, you know, a small island or something. So, yeah, we're going to have to be a little careful, but shouldn't be too hard. So, anyways, we're going to jump over here. Uh, die, choo-choo. Okay, wow, this wind is, gets really annoying because it doesn't really have, it has, like, a pattern where it, like, leaves for, like, two seconds and comes back for, like, a second. Actually, it leaves for, like, three seconds. Still, it, it gets it gets annoying nevertheless. But, yeah, okay. Seriously, die mini blend. Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and pick up this bomb and throw it. Also, wanna, okay, the wind. I don't know how the blend, the, the blend, the wind is able to blow the bomb away because the bomb is, like, covered by the ledges. But whatever, I'm not going to question it. Let's go ahead and explode this cracked wall to head inside this cave. And, well, we're going to find ourselves a, yes, Courage Gem, and we also find this, uh, book, this is Wayf this is Wafer's journal, so obviously it's been here as well, um, so the wind will take you next, uh, whatever, upon, he discovered an island, uh, smaller islands nearby, okay, well, let's go ahead and check out what these smaller islands are by looking at this map, so, alright, let's go ahead and open up our sea chart. Open up this part of the map, and well, I guess we'll just X these two islands that he found that aren't marked on our map. And we'll also put an arrow here, just because he did, so we'll just copy what he did, really, and see if that helps us out. Just making the map more cluttered than it already is, but I don't care. Uh, I, I gotta copy Wayfarer. So anyways, wow, we weren't affected by the wind there, that was kind of weird. I think it was like a glitch, uh, because we just went back out. But anyways, let's go ahead and wait a couple seconds. I believe if we read this sign, it will tell us. Oh, look! Link is actually, like, reading it when the wind's blowing. So, anyway, strong wind warning, uh, don't get blown off. So, I think this is kind of, like, telling you that you can use the wind to push you while jumping. And, yeah, we can jump ledges like that, which is pretty interesting. Now, here we are where we're going to need the shovel. We're going to find some nice things. Actually, you're going to need your shovel generally to get through this area. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and first take out these mini blends because they're going to get a little annoying. And, um... Any patch of sand or dirt that you find like this, where it looks like it's been dug uh, before, you can easily, you know, dig through it and find something. Yeah, just like that. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, I believe what I want to do is actually head in here and continue on throughout this cave, throughout this weird island of sorts. And, uh, well, search for the way to that cave. I'm actually going to erase this X on the map because it, it's kind of like blocking the entrance itself so it might get a little confusing but yeah all right so first thing we want to do is actually kill these mini blends because you're gonna get yourself a chest aside from this chest that we're gonna get right now so we got ourselves a wisdom gem as well which is pretty nice um, we're getting them really easy without actually having to look for them but that's the wisdom one so obviously courage power and wisdom just like the spirits so yeah, it was obvious, though, like that, you know, the other two would have been, you know, courage and wisdom. But by defeating all of these mini blends, we're going to get ourselves a treasure chart. Yeah, or a treasure map. I got to stop calling it chart because I mean, it's still like chart map, whatever. But I'd rather call it what the game says and it calls it treasure map instead of treasure chart. Unlike in Wind Waker, even though they're like I said, they're technically the same thing, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and use these strong, uh, you know, house of wind to blow us forward that's coming from the ground. And yeah, it just elevates us upwards, which is nice. Let's see what's in here. <gasps> yes, a giant green rupee that will give us, yes, 100 rupees. Woohoo. Okay, let's go and wait. And jump. Woo. All right. So, so far so good. We've collected pretty much a lot of things just by heading through this path, which is pretty nice. And we still might find a couple interesting things. So, Basically, here's the entrance to the temple. If we try to walk up here, we'll be blocked. Let's go ahead and read this sign. So, temple entrance stops uh, gusting only when windmills uh, have had their fill. So, yeah, and this is X down map. So, let's go ahead and exit as well. And we'll just keep that in mind. So, you know, they give you small hints. They don't really tell you what it is. But just by putting it on your map, it will soon make sense later on. So, we have to somehow give windmills their fail so they can, uh, they can have these, uh, gusts of air to stop blowing so we can actually head inside the temple itself. So, yeah. If that made any sense. I don't think it did. 
but <laughs> yeah um anyway so uh, what do you think those are link okay so these if we go ahead and dig these out these aren't ordinary uh patches of you know ground that you can dig up when you dig them up they'll have yeah air just shooting out of it so you can tell by the texture of the sand that it's a different kind than the other ones where you actually find items inside of it so yeah let's go ahead and dig up this one and we can end up here and grab ourselves a chest so that's basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to use this as some sort of puzzle and we got ourselves another power gem so just from this island alone we got ourselves a courage wisdom and power so that's pretty nice <laughs> But anyways, let's go ahead and just kill this guy and run up. Alright, we're good. Don't want to fall down. I believe if we head over here, this is the right path that we need to take. Because this path takes us to a dead end. And then, this path will also take us to a dead end. So what we need to do is, yes, cover it by uh, dirt. And it, I don't know. So it can pretty much this wind can chew up Link's body, but can't shoot up some dirt. It literally covered the wind itself, which is a little weird. But... That's how it works, guys. <laughs> so what we're doing is, yeah, that's, that's what we did so we can make it to the other side. At first, I was uh, really puzzling the first time I played this game. But then I'm like, wait, how did I dig out some of the patches? Maybe I can, like, you know, dig in as well, if that made any sense, by, like, you know, cover it with sand. And it worked. So, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab a heart from here and check out this. All right, so... These are areas of things. Before I actually draw on my map those, uh, the hero must blow on the three sacred windmills. All right, so we have to blow on the windmills, and I believe these are the windmills. So let's go ahead and mark them on our map. So there's one here, there's one here, and there's one all the way over here. And as you can tell, there are more here, but these are all the wrong ones. So we're O, guys. In this XO match, we're O. We're not X. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now what we want to do is, um, oh geez, okay, we want to go ahead and patch this stuff in, just like that, so we can make it through, pick up this boulder, and just run away like that. Yeah, alright. Now, I believe if we hit this, uh, stone, this, uh, gossip stone, it will tell us, okay, so creatures are sensitive to, uh, dwell, to sound, dwell in the sand, okay. So, we have to be careful. We can't make any sound while walking on this. Or, this will start chasing us. So, we got to run really fast. And it runs actually faster than us. And if it does come up to you, it will uh, kill you. I believe this gossip stone will tell us about um, about the way to kill him. And that's with bombs. It's going to eat it and then explode. And that's kind of how you kill it. So, yeah. You can still kind of outrun it if you start rolling. But... It will catch up to you nevertheless. You want to be careful. Anyways, let's go ahead and run really fast and stop. Right, we're safe. Oh, wow. Where did... This one just started running at me before I even jumped back into the sand. Whatever. Let's go ahead and run really quick and... All right. Now we need to blow on this one. This is one of the three windmills we need to blow in. So... There we go. There are two more left, guys. And then we're set. So, eh, just run really quick. Oh, jeez. Got caught. Well, I don't really care. But before I actually head all the way over there, there is something we need to get, and it's inside this chest, and it is another treasure map. So, yeah. Good thing I picked this one up, because you're kind of, like, in a hurry when you're getting chased by these uh, creatures. But if you take the time to actually venture around this whole sandy playground, you'll, you'll find that there are some important things. But anyways... <sighs> it's not working! Blow, Link! There we go. Why, wow, it took me so freaking long, man. Jeez. <laughs> I need to, like, inhale sometimes. It just wants you to exhale and, like, just sit and breathe at it without stopping. So, <gasps> there we go. You have to huff and puff really hard to get this one working. I bet it's because it's rusty. But anyways, I'm surprised Link's... Like, Link blowing at a windmill will get it spinning this fast. I mean, I understand those small toy ones, but this is like a metal windmill. He, like, he must be a hero if he's able to do that. Anywho, with, with doing this, uh, it will stop the, the gust that's uh, at the end of here. Actually, I'm going to head up here because don't want to get lost. If we head around from this way, I believe, yeah, we'll be able to jump down. And there we go, guys. So, in the next episode... We are going to be taking on 
the next temple within the game. So, thank you all very much for watching. I've been Zelda Master, and I'll catch you all in the next one.